Okay, since I accidentally stopped recording, let's call this um, day two, part two. It's the 28th of January, by the way, is when I'm recording this. Obviously, they won't go up till much later. And so my makeup and my earrings and my necklace I got. A compliment on my necklace from one of the other girls. And um, the there's this tall, very loud girl named Mariah. And she said I looked beautiful. And I'm happy about that. Um, not really the type to try to jump into relationships, even though I've seen a lot of people getting all gross and kissy <laughs> lately here. But I'm, I don't know, I've made friends with some of my male classmates and I've decided, you know, if something happens. I'm not going to get emotionally involved. I actually, earlier today, I was reading a pamphlet called um, Getting What You Want Out of Sex, and it was like, emotional intimacy can make for better sex. And I commented out loud and started this whole conversation. I said, what's emotional intimacy? Is that something you eat? Like, <laughs> everyone started laughing. And, oh yeah, we had to fill out these questionnaires for health and wellness, right? And... One of the questions was, um, how many sexual partners have you had? And I wrote, lost count after 14. Well, actually, no, I wrote 14 question mark, maybe question mark. But I told the group that I wrote um, the first one. And all the guys just looked at me and started laughing. <laughs> Ow. Ow. And so... Anyway, they all know that I'm, uh, or I mean the health and wellness staff, they know that I'm on Sonix um, for menstrual regulation. So go talk to the health and wellness people tomorrow. Yay. I gotta do a thing with the therapy and stuff. Uh, they don't really encourage use of medication, so that's good, because I don't really want to deal with medication. You know, I just... <sighs> kind of want to get some feedback about some of the shit that I've been going through. I mean, not just, you know, not just the obvious stuff that I'm telling everyone about, but, like, things from before. Things from my childhood and all that that have kind of led to me being a broken person, you know. Anyway, um, I think I'm going to have to take a bath tonight and wash off all of this makeup and stuff. I definitely overpacked, and since I'm staying in a transitional dorm, or an orientation dorm, um, once some more space opens up in the other dorm, I'm going to be staying there, in, I guess in another room. I'm going to have three roommates instead of just one. I am not happy. I mean, the only other time that I've had a roommate besides when I lived with Derek was um, when I was in children's services. I guess that's before I really cared about snoring, you know, before I started lucid dreaming myself to sleep. But the thing is, I can't concentrate on lucid dreaming if other people with breathing patterns are distracting me. I really don't like that. God, my, my face looks so fat right now. I know, it's not the angle, but the thing is, I've actually lost weight since I've been here. Yes, in the two or three days since I've been to Planned Parenthood, I lost a pound. Actually, like, 1.2 pounds. So, I'm a little, um, happy because I get three square meals a day 
I have got access to an exercise room, but unfortunately the only shoes I brought with me besides loafers are... <sighs> well, I didn't bring them with me. Or, you know, I brought the loafers, but the only other shoes I have are something from... Uh, there's a sort of a clothing donation thing where people will take the clothes that they don't want anymore. I got a pair of really cute strappy sandals, and they're actually, they're a pair of comfortable heels. The thing is, is they're heels, and you wear heels in a weight room, people well, you know, think you're crazy. I mean, I think everyone pretty much already thinks I'm crazy, because I've got a pretty loud personality, but still, there's, there's a limit. There's like crazy as in don't give this person your child crazy and then there's crazy as in complete lack of common sense don't give them scissors and let them cross the street crazy <laughs> i'm okay with being the first one you know um actually i was playing ping pong earlier and um it was on teams and my partner was like hit it like you would hit a baby, I'm like, you want me to obliterate it? I was joking, obviously. I'm, I don't like kids, but I wouldn't, you know, hit them. But, uh, <laughs> I cannot ping pong. I can't hit softly. I'm used to tennis. I, I hit hard and badminton. Oh, God, badminton. I'm horrible at it. I don't know. I've been texting Murray and Sunny. And I think maybe half of my texts have actually been going out. <laughs> I texted Los Angeles Sciex too, and she hasn't responded. I think she's actually waiting on a reply <laughs> for me. Because <laughs> we were RPing, and then I forgot that it was my turn for a few months. Oops. So, I think she's actually waiting for me to reply, but I don't have my computer with me, so... I don't have the, the response thing, so I think I might just want to start a new one, but I can't inspiration. Um, lately everything's been going pretty slowly, and I'm pretty happy about that. Because, you know, it's orientation week, and then next week I guess we get into the whole resume building thing, and actually no, next week we learn about wellness and diversity, and then after that, resume building, and I am so, I'm scared about doing actual work, I think I'll be bad at it, and I just, this is something that I can't fail at, and I feel like I might be the only person here who doesn't succeed, it scares the crap out of me. I don't know. I don't really recognize myself in the camera. I mean, this is like, this is an inner camera, so it should be, just put it on the ledge here, it should be showing me, but this doesn't really look like my face to me. It could be all the gel in my hair, too. Or the fact that I'm a natural brunette and I ironically bleached and then low-lighted my hair. <laughs> So, like, those could be factors. I think I'm going to take a bath. Uh, maybe play Kingdom Hearts a little bit later. I mean, I, also, I have Kid Icarus. The, I have all of them. Um, but I really, really suck at them. <laughs> Which I should know, because um, I suck at Mario, too, and it's basically the same, you know, original style for the first few and then for the latest one um, I think it has actual cutscenes and stuff but if I can't beat the first few then how am I gonna you know figure out this but Kingdom Hearts is easy and I've got the muscle memory for it I guess I could just start a new game do all that take pictures every step of the way and do like a little diary thing. 
Hey everyone, it's my second night at Job Corps and I'm going to be posting these up on my main because unfortunately there's no point in using an alias because the staff members completely violated my privacy and um, called me out by my full given name and basically said that since it's my legal name I have to use it on all the paperwork and that's how the staff are going to refer to me even though I was led to believe that I could go by whatever I wanted and that my classmates wouldn't know my legal name so unfortunately they've heard it so mostly I'm making a fuss out of habit I don't know um, it's not that I'm trying to make a fuss because honestly I would rather them not really know about anything that bothers me I don't want them to have any ammunition to use against me. It's just that oh, I really hate my given name. Pretty sure a few of you on my Facebook can relate. Anyway, it's been a little bit depressing so far because I found out that I've got cavities. And my fillings that I had put in eight years ago need to be redone. Um, I mean, also my eyesight is diminishing a little bit. Um, I used to be uh, 20, 25, and uh, 20, what is it, 15, and now I'm 20, 20, and 2030, 20, and it's not, yeah, I'm worried. It's because I got laser surgery so young, and I kind of wish I'd gotten it done with Dr. Beatty, who's my regular eye doctor, instead of going to the laser eye center of Silicon Valley and having it done there, because with Beatty I could have gotten free, um, um touch-up surgery for the rest of my life. I get to go back to the health and wellness center tomorrow and get a pap smear. Yay. Um, I couldn't track down the records for my old one, um, which was, my uh, most recent one was in July 2012. So, <laughs> I have to go and get another one done. Um, especially because here they want you to do it every year, whereas Planned Parenthood says every three years if it comes out normal, and I'm just, I'm not really looking forward to it, I guess. So, my roommate is not here. But, so, you know, I can talk about her. Um, no, it's nothing, it's nothing bad. I actually, I get along pretty well with her. She's introverted. She doesn't talk much. Um, but she's very nice. And we're splitting the chores, which are supposed to be split, uh, between four people. But since there's only two of us living in the room, it's just split between us two. And I can't find my phone. So, they give us, like, two medicine cabinets, we get four beds, we've got a mirror thing. So, I've got, like, all my makeup in a baggie here, and my comb is not there. Got, you know, my nail care kit, hotel shampoo and conditioner, tiny little floss, and this is a toothbrush that they give us because I forgot my electric toothbrush at home, so, which I don't really care. And, you know, as long as I change my toothbrush every few months, I guess it doesn't matter. Um, also, my makeup is showing up a lot better on camera than it looks in real life. It looked like I used way too much blush. <laughs> but Brittany is so sweet. She gave me um, she gave me a blush brush because she doesn't wear blush. And got uh, like this, I want to say tiny little bathtub, but I think it's actually bigger than, um, than my bathtub at home. <laughs> um, get, like, four towel racks. I've got two washcloths here. I've got one for cleaning and then one for drying, you know, surfaces and whatnot. Um, mirror is really freaking hard to keep clean. 
that I got marked down for the mirror, but we only got uh, we only got one point taken off our room score, so that's good. Ooh, there's my comb. Got my loafers and set up here is kind of like a hotel room, which I'm kind of happy about. I like hotels. Um, got my closet here. I've got, I don't have the overhead lights on, but I've got like my uniform. You now let me go turn on the overhead lights so you can all see what I'm talking about. Okay, much better. So, you can see the desks here. Um, and in the drawer I've got pens and post-it things and light out and my cell phone charger and I've got my uniform and the pants and all my, you know, all my stuff there. And in here I've got like my socks, gloves, underwear, hat, iPad. I did not bring my iPod, um, charger cord. I, I remember the charger base, but I forgot the cord, so I'm not happy about that at all. Um, I mean, I can go home Friday and get it. It's just till then I have to make my battery last on my iPod and on my iPad. And no, that's not happening. Um, got a couple pairs of tights in there, I guess, for when I run out of socks. And I've got, like, the complimentary toiletry bag and my jewelry and some more makeup stuff there. So, I don't know. Thinking I'm going to start bringing my 3DS with me so that I can just record random, random things that they're going on and post them. I mean, because I've got a lot of memory on this SD card. It's uh, 16 gigabytes. So, and 